started surfing probably in 85. Uh, I don't really remember actually learning to surf though. Uh, since my dad was a, a fairly well-known surfer in Texas in the 70s, so it was kind of always something we did, you know. When I finally got the chance, it was right after my dad passed away, and uh, it was kind of one of those things. I said, well, I'm gonna shape a board just for him, and, and I made one, and a good friend of mine, Jesse Villarreal, is a, is a great shaper, and he saw the first board I shaped, and essentially, when he saw that board, he, uh, he told me, hey, man, this is a great looking board. If it's the first board you ever shaped, you should, keep, you should stick with it. As far as me, my favorite style of board is probably an egg. Um, it's kind of an all-around board in between. Uh, it gives you a short board feel and you catch a little, more, little bit more waves on it. So that's probably my favorite board. But, uh, you know, I love creating new boards. So if somebody comes to me with an idea and they want to create something, that's what I love doing. So, you know, we, do, we really do anything here. When we decided we were going to start shaping boards in the, and put a brand out there, we're kind of looking, everybody has uses their own name. And, and I thought, well, I don't want to use my own name. Just uh, I was kind of thinking of, of different ideas. And, uh, you know, I always liked Matt Biolas from Lost, you know, and I kind of liked the direction he was going. It's kind of a, a different direction that some of the other boards take as far as the, the names go. And I, that was kind of a little inspiration. We're, we're looking at different things. And, and mostly, we had all these different names and people kept telling us we were crazy if, if we thought we were going to build boards in Texas and make a living. And the more somebody said you're crazy for making boards in Texas, you know, trying to make a living, it just kind of, we, we went from different names, we thought crazy, loco, and then somebody just said psycho. And, and I can't tell you where it came from or, or exactly who said it or if it was me, or, but uh, I, I'd say it came from people telling us we're crazy if we think we're going to make boards in Texas and make a living.